Ah, what a beautiful day in the desert. What a great day to go look for loot dodos. Now, there's no dodos here on Scorched Earth, but there are a lot of other little critters. And today we're going to be looking at a mod called Dodo Loot. And it utilizes a creature type called L Creatures that is not in the game, but apparently is in, you know, it's in the game, in the code pot. We're gonna go look for L Creatures. And L Creatures are loot creatures. 40. Two. Our friend here. Um, it's a lot of, um, kind of like beginner creatures. I do see a Paraceratherium, which is a pretty big, big baby. Tabahara are pretty, pretty intense to try to get. Jugbugs, we love to see it. Jerboas. Dung beetles. Dodecurus. Anki. But these creatures drop better loot than usual. Good items. Equipment. Weapones. We're gonna go find some. We're gonna battle them. And we're gonna get the loot. Now I've been playing Pokemon lately, so I got Pokemans on the brain. And you know what? Kinda similar. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so let's go inside. We're we're loading. We're loading everybody. Shiny Indigo Lunar Procoptodon. Oh, that is so tempting to get, but we can't do that right now, guys. Um we're gonna go on Pequenia because she's a more reliable flying creature. She does have a level. Let's um, put that on some stamina. Yeah. We've been breeding Argents for a while. We're almost done. Okay, now that we're away from all the chaos that is the burring, let's go back in our map and let's pick a guy to go check on. Um, there are a ton of fish. I didn't realize there was fish. Where are they? Bro just down here. You know what? Let's go over there and have a look at the fish. Are there coelacanths in the water and scorched? Because I don't remember. I don't really go in the water. No matter. We're going to look at it right now. Whatever there is, there's a whole pile of them sitting there. Alright, so there's fish in here. Let's go look. Oh yeah, there are fish. They're, they're coelacanths, but they're called fish. Elfish, to be precise. Um, is this our elfish? Alright. Oh, we have a blueprint for a bullet. Alright. Okay, let's get him off the map. Are you a fish as well? No, you're just a regular coelacanth, but you're a fish. Let's check the body. Oh wow, that's a lot of blueprints. You know what, I'll take that and one of those. I kind of like having a, you know, mobile way of making ammunition. Could we put that in an Argent and then make ammunition on the Argent? Uh, unless you can already, I don't know. Huh? Hey, you leave that bird alone! Oh mercy. Get! Stop touching her! Fiend. They just- he just went into the ground. We're gonna go in the muddy water. Okay, fish. Your coelacanth, coelacanth, the little one's a fish. Oh god, these fish are like coming right at me. They're scaring me. Okay, you're a fish. What do you have? You just have more of these blueprints. Great. Alright, maybe we should like look for something else. Hi, are, are you guys want to be friends? Okay, there's a fish. Come here. The other coelacanths don't seem to care that I'm defeating these guys. Okay. Well, the coelacanths have seem to have um, ammunition blueprints, which is fine. I mean, that's a great way to start the day when you're low level, you know? Um, it also means you don't have to use engram points on those. Okay, so how about we find something a little bigger than fish? Maybe an Anki? Is it nearby? 
Oh, he says no. Did do we see the Yankee? Is the Yankee a higher level? Oh no, it's right there, level 15. Alright, I guess we're gonna go fly over there. Alright, we're here. Uh should be pretty easy. Alright, we're gonna see what Anki holds. Oh, you know, really nice resources, eh? I, um... I mean, I'll take the crystal. I don't need anything else, though. Okay. Fantastic start. Hey, if you're first starting out and you see this low-level Anki and you defeat it, you just got crystal to make a spyglass, you got a little bit of metal, you got some arrows. That's really good. Let's find another one. Um, there are Dodicarus. Oh, there's a hardy lichen. Lystro. You know what? That's double because it's also a shiny. Let's go find it. Hopefully there's nothing around. Hmm. Alright. Shiny on top of that, eh? There. We've got soups and potions. Let's look in the body. Oh, we only got arrows on that one. It's more than what would have been before. Alright, Lystra was kind of a bust. At least that one was. We've got your boa on the mind. There's a lot of your boa. Where's the best concentration? You know what? We'll go find this one. Creature that I would never see up in the sky. So normally you'd get um, hide, meat. We got some narcotics. Heck yeah, that would be super useful when you're starting out. Where's the next one? Let's just highlight everybody. All right, we got a little jerboa here. Oh, poor thing. It was a cute purple one too. All right, we got some berries and such things. It makes me wonder if it's carrying berries. If you knock it out, would it just tame itself? <laughs> its inventory is probably uh, empty until you. Oh, he's a cute little blue one too. Oh, maybe we'll have to tame one later. Oh, look at hey, there you go. Great arrows. All right, let's check for something a little bigger than Jerboa's. You know what? That Pariser looks... It's looking good. It's looking tempting. Ah, oh, it's way over here. All right, we're gonna go for it. Let's go get that Pariser. Let's go get that Racer. Okay, now the question is, can I defeat this guy with my spear? It's possible. This is a pretty good spear. And it's a little, I mean, 85 doesn't matter. Oh, he's stomping me. Running, we got a runner. All right. Okay, we actually have ammunition this time. Not bad. Oh, that's an oil, right? Oh, no, that was the stompies. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's a kangaroo. Okay, let's check for the next one. Let's see if anything new has popped up. Let us refresh. No, we're not refreshing. Okay, we're refreshing. There's so many fish. Where are all the fish at? Oh, there's more down here. Okay, that makes sense. That's a lot of fish. That's a lot of fish in one spot. There's Gallimimus. Can we just not have fish? That'd be great. I wonder if I took 
a big creature and just ate all the fish. <laughs> There's a lot of, I'm, I don't know. I think when it comes to the larger creatures, what we get is a lot less. So let's try the Parasaur. Also, by the way, you can change the loot tables for these. So it is possible to just put like actual, like really specifically useful items in their inventories. Like, hey, maybe the Parasaur will have a tent on Scorched Earth, you know? Maybe they'll carry a couple building supplies. You could put that in there. Maybe more metal more frequently. That would be great. Oh, we got a chibi. Oh, a parasaur chibi, no less. We like a good parasaur chibi. Unfortunately, it cost the parasaur greatly. We'll just pretend that's the soul of the parasaur. We've rescued it. It's a part of ourselves now. Okay, parasaur. We're here for business. Give us the goods. Oh, okay, we got some berries and... and arrows. Oh, I like the colors on it. Oh, there's a baby Jerboa! Where's her baby, bud? I heard it. They sound so tiny and angry. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, he's hitting us. Oh, you wanna- you wanna just go in your thing? Okay. This might take a while. There we go. Oh, we got some items in our pocket. Okay. We got some hatchets. Interesting. Bugs? Oh, it is an L bug. We got simple shotgun ammo and some bullets. Not bad. All right, ramshackle metal hatchet. Some arrows. I think I got another hatchet. Got some more arrows. Not bad, not bad. Just look in here for anything higher level. Not really. There is a Proptodon down here. It has something following, it's probably a baby. Hmm. The question is, do babies have loot as well? Bass. Let's see. They do! Look at Veggies! Items! Okay, he's running. He's running so hard. Yep. Berries, fiber, another carrot. Almost identical. Got two carrots. The baby had more. Interesting. Alright, well, those are loot creatures. How about that? I guess at some point, maybe I might change the loot table so that they actually have, like, items and stuff. I think that would be very helpful for when we play the center next. I think... Now, we will have a peek at another mod. It's a food-related mod, and I've been meaning to have a peek at it, but I haven't used it yet, so this will be a premiere. <laughs> okay, so we're back home. Very important. We're in the kitchen, and we're going to be looking at the next mod called a Gastronome. Or is it gas Gastronome? I don't know how to pronounce it, but... We're gonna have to make a stove. Now we're gonna go to the engrams list. We're gonna type in stove. And it looks like a fireplace. 
So it looks like we might have enough stuff in here to make it. I guess we need to make it in our inventory. Please, 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 please. No, we have to make it the freaking smithy. I don't read things apparently, that's fine. I can't read. Okay, cementing paste, thatch, stone, wood. Okay, we'll get that ready. All right, we have it all right here. Let's make it. I guess we'll go pop it in the kitchen. We have an empty spot. And then we'll see what all we need. Oh, it does have a chimney that goes way up. I don't really want a chimney going through my thing, but I mean, if I have to, pop it right there. Now, let's see, we have a lot of stuff going on in here. We've got components. We have salve. Technically edible, but very unsatisfying. I'm guessing that's something you put. Ooh, you need leech blood slash horns. I think this mod also adds its own components, like ingredients, vinegar. Vinegar is one of them, which I think you need to make a special barrel, a vinegar barrel to make that, which is also very interesting. All right, let's go back to this. Uh, oh, we can make dough. How fun. Let's see. Baked vegetables. Filling and healthy in a pinch, but much better added to things. We got mushroom, sava root, mayo berry, raw carrot. You know, these little pictures are so nice. They're so cute. Preserved vegetables. Oh, yeah. We need vinegar for that. Okay, cool. Vegetable colas. Not very tasty on its own, but should be made with something. Okay. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what these foods are. This person who made this mod knows fucking food. You can make gibble in here. Fantastic. We love to see it. You can cook your meat in here. Fantastic. We love to see it. Dino. Ooh. Gives your creature a big stamina boost. Oh my God. It's a little loaf of bread with carrots in it. Oh my goodness. Mayo berry loaf. Stamina boost. Protein cake. Makes your dino feel completely healthier, although it takes a little while to take effect and can be interrupted. Huh. You put um, a base egg kibble, salve, and raw mutton. Mmm. Sticky sap cake. Makes your dino feel much healthier. Uh, it takes a while to take effect and can be interrupted. Okay. Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> really good food to help fill up your dinosaur. Oh, how fun. You put preserved vegetables in mutton and dough. Very fancy. Give that to the dinos you really love. Meatloaf. Who doesn't love a good meatloaf? <laughs> uh, okay. Helps a little with health, but is some work to eat. <laughs> I mean, if you let that meatloaf dry up in the oven, it is rough to eat. Let's be honest. There is an enraged megalosaurus running around. That's kind of scary. A fish pie. Oh, fish pie. Lovely. Dough. Raw prime fish meat. And preserved vegetables. I'm getting hungry. Shoo. Food. Oh my god, these look like sandwiches. Mutton sandwich. Satisfies most of your hunger and makes you a little healthier. But it does take some effort to eat. What does it mean, effort to eat? I'm going to have to spawn some of the stuff in. <laughs> Help satisfy your hung your hungry <laughs> and makes you a little healthier. What is this? Refreshing puree. Oh. It has fish in it. <laughs> a fish. A fish and vegetable puree. Uh help satisfy your hungry and slightly quenches your thirst. I love it. It's hunger, bud. It's hunger. Um healing. Very nice. Oh, look at these. Uh meat stuffed spud. Makes you feel healthier and a fooler. <laughs> oh, they're just like baked potatoes. Oh, I love mushroom stuffed. Oh my God, there's, it looks like the mushrooms are growing out of it, yeah? Uh, Tinto stuffed spud. Oh, that sounds so good. What would... I'm thinking of like a baked potato, but with like cranberry sauce. Mmm, 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 mmm. A mutton stuffed spud. <laughs> The mutton. Look at the mutton. It's just right in there. Oh, oh, beautiful. Gourmet. This is the gourmet shit. 
Uh, we have other. Oh, oh, look at these. Sword. Oh, what is that? A fi <laughs> fish puree. Oh my god. Makes you a little fuller. It says slows your breathing for a while. Is that because it makes you so full? <laughs> oh, you're like gasping for air after drinking that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Prime stew. Mm. Oh, it's like a little pot with all the meat and the veggies in it. Oh, delicious. Uh, raw carrot puree. Sounds so healthy. Sounds so delicious. Makes you immune to poison for a short period. Poison resist tonic. Tonics and tin tinctures. A stun resist. Makes you immune to being stunned. <gasps> that would be perfect. We might have to go try that out. See if we can get a micro wrap to try to stun us. Uh, a fish wrap. Very nice. Citronelle dough and prime fish meat. Makes you a little more resilient to the heat. Mm -hmm. Fish stew. Makes you a little more resilient to the cold. Oh, very nice. Look at that fish sitting on top of the vegetables. It's beautiful. This is beautiful artwork. I want, I want to see the big versions of this stuff. <laughs> a mutton stew. Uh, massively increases carrying capacity. Fuck, I'm gonna have to make this. We're gonna have to make this. And stamina. Oh, the pies. Oh, the pies. We love the pies. <laughs> Prime quiche. Mmm. Mmm. Dinosaur egg. Mmm. Gives you energy. Makes you feel more full. Vegetable quiche. Makes you feel a lot more energetic for a while. It makes you a little fuller. Mmm. Makes you feel more energetic for the berry quiche for a while. It makes you a little fuller. God, I'm gonna eat a berry quiche. Maton quiche. Look at the little muttons on top of it. Just slap that shit on top. <laughs> oh, gives you a lot of energy. I don't know, stamina all the way, babies. All right, those were all the items. I have a few items here. Uh, where the heck are they? Okay, we have stun resist. We've got a vegetable quiche. Makes you feel a lot more energetic. Um, and we have the mutton stew. Mass increase carrying capacity. So right now our weight is 300. Holy. Oh my god. It's 3,000. It's 3,000. It's 3,000. It's a minute and a half. Almost a minute and a half. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Loot Hunter, what have we done? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. It's like we have nothing at all. Like we're not wearing. We look like, like we're wearing nothing, nothing at all. all. Nothing, nothing at, all. at all. Okay, that's fantastic. Wow. Um, I am amazed. Okay, so naturally we're gonna eat a quiche. What does this do? I think it. Hold on, we gotta look at that. Press H. Stamina boost. I mean, let's go run around a bit, I reckon. We're lagging, we're sagging. Alright. Our stamina is definitely not falling. Okay, I'm liking this. Can we, can we please jump over the rock? I mean, we have pretty good stamina to begin with, but it is not going down. Barely. Yeah. This is definitely what you need if you want to do, like, a marathon across the map. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is good. You know what's also good? Giving this to a creature when you want to go scouting around. Because I think there is stamina boost food for your creatures. You broke my pants, you fiend! Okay, we're pantsless. That's fine. Everything's okay. We've got stamina for days. At least for another minute and a half. Okay, we're gonna go look for some Microraptors to stun us. <laughs> that sounds horrible. Microraptors, 151 on the map. Holy hell. Oh, and they're all over here, wonderful. Oh, there's a lot over here. Okay, let's just pick one so we know we're going in the right location. We're gonna get close to them and then we're gonna take the potion 
then we're gonna fly right into them. At least one of them should get angry at us, you know? I feel like I probably should have gotten on top of a smaller creature. Well, I mean, technically Pequena is pretty small, but what I mean is maybe something terrestrial. Oh, that's a long time. 300 seconds? Oh my goodness. Hey, does anyone want to beat me up? Oh, he's angry. And they're fleeing because they failed. A moth is going crazy. Oh, it's trying to get us. He can't get us. All right, you know what? That definitely does work. Want me to fight me? Come on. You don't want to fight. All right, let's find another one. Let's go to this this brotherhood over here. Oh, he's trying to get us again. He's failed. He's humiliated, so he's resorted to biting the butt. Unacceptable behavior. We're just going to ignore him now. <laughs> and we still have plenty of time. This is amazing. You know what? I think out of all the potions, that's probably my favorite one. Micro rafters can eat dookie. They can eat boo-boo. Look at that Maywing. I love seeing Maywing flying around this area in the desert. It just brings so much more life to the region, you know? All right, we got micro raptors here. Let's try this out. I'm definitely going to be making a lot of these potions when I go walking around. Hey, you. Up. Uh, oh, that one's trying to get us. He's failing miserably. You know I would have been popped off by now. Yep. See that? Look at that. They're trying desperately. I have the repellent. <laughs> they just bring their little feet back in when they get close. Is there a baby running around as well? Yep, that'll always guarantee. The baby's trying to follow the parent. Oh no, like, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is fun. I love it. I love taking away their power. Well, that's fun. <laughs> That was so fun. I love that. And our weight was 3,000 pounds for like a minute and a half or some such. That was fantastic. I love this. You know, this was a really good mod. Well, I would recommend both of these mods to anyone. If anything, the weight and the uh, stun resistance. Very good. There's also poison resistance, which I imagine works the same way. I don't know how long that is. Is that like that's not five minutes, right? I, I Maybe a few minutes, like three. It wasn't that long. Oh, look it. We have some Maywings here. It's a mom and a baby. They've just been chilling up here on my, uh, on my house. They're wild. They don't move. So I've left them there. They seem to be having a good time. But anyway, the loot. Do you like my fence? It's very nice. The loot creatures. I would recommend if you know how to configure loot tables and such... Which, from my recollection, you can do that with Beacon. Beacon. Um, do that. Pick specific items that you want uh, for, like, starter. You know, when you're first starting. Especially with, like, Lystros and Dodos. We don't have Dodos here, but there are um, L Dodos. And, um, yeah. Make it fun. So that, like, Turtles and Dodos and Lystros are really, like, worth hunting. You know? And for this food one, so good, so good. There are just so many items that are just worth. For some reason, I can't get off the bird. I am repelled from getting off of it. This is amazing. I wonder if I have to wait until the stun resistance. Oh, it prevents you from getting off of the mount. That's how it works. So you can't actually get off the mount until 
until it's done. It's like you're glued on, eh? All right, we got five seconds. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> yeah, you're glued on to your, your creature. So that's why they can't get you off. How funny. I like that. Oh, here's, here's Psyduck. We love our Psyduck. Well, uh, that was Do Dodo, Dodo Loot. Dodo Loot and Gastronome. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, that's it. If you liked the video, leave a comment, like the video, and most importantly, subscribe because that helps support the channel immensely. I will see you guys next time. I wanna make more little videos about the mods that I'm using and mods that I like. If you have a mod that you'd like me to try out and make a video about that seems really cool that you like, let me know in the comments. I always read the comments and uh, I'll check it out myself. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> He's got no pants. Oh my God, how embarrassing. <laughs> oh boy. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Thank you. And thank you so much to all of my coffee supporters. If you would like to support the channel just a little bit more, go ahead and visit my coffee page. Link is also in the description.